Good day, in this video we'll be restoring a mid-2012 MacBook Pro. We'll be upgrading it to macOS Catalina which is the last version it supports. This model is also the last one to have a DVD drive inside the MacBook. We'll be doing all the upgrades and installations in a dark room because it has a reflective screen. So let's get to it. Internet recovery. Also got a little side project going on. All this installs because it really takes quite a while to install macOS. So as you can tell by the psychomorphic design, we stepped into some macOS nostalgia. We're getting Mac OS Lion instead of High Sierra. So yeah, have a little nostalgia in our little episode. So here we are, Mac OS Mountain Lion. It's booting up. Loading spinner is gone. Now we are at the setup screen. Here we are, this is the classic Mac interface. Mm. Right. Got mish. That's not mission control, that's launch back. Got your calculator, text edit, everything that a Mac user needs. Including chess. Windows users have solitaire, Mac users have this. Anyways. 9G to F6. Pawn E7 to E5. Knight F6 takes G4. Alright. Let's pretend that didn't happen and uh, upgrade this. But I have to. So we got four cores. Oh, this is a better one. About this Mac. More info. It's got eight gigabytes of DDR3, uh, Intel HD graphics, because this is a laptop. Uh, it's got a Core i7. Seven Windows Eight. We, but of course, we are. We don't really have much to complain about the later releases, like we have for Windows Ten, except for the fact that it's not psychomorphic. But let's go ahead and upgrade. Upgrade, people. Upgrades. All right, what's in store? So we have to go and uh, download old Mac OS. Wait, 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 let's go back. Mac OS Catalina can upgrade Mojave, High Sierra, Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, and Mavericks. So if we want to upgrade, or we can install High Sierra. Let's do this. What? Let's get Sierra since we can't even download this thing. Okay, I just noticed something weird. Whenever I hold a, it was like doing it before, but I was like holding it in a way. 
Now it gets all... I, like, touch it. Probably like this, or... Oh, it did the thing. I guess it's like when you like put down on pressure on the graphics chip. So that's kind of a bit freaky. All right, so that's done downloading. All right, so now we have install Mac OS Sierra. Close this out. Dismount it. Three. And it's time to say goodbye to the Sycamorphic UI because we are installing Mac OS Sierra. So yeah, it'll be uh, another hour. On January 24th, 1984, Apple will release Macintosh and you'll see why 1984 won't be like George Orwell's novel. I can go in the trash. All right, and we're back on Mac OS Sierra. All right, so we are officially on Big Sur. Pull up the terminal, change my settings and all that. Without breaking, I can take a look around. So I've got two choices, no dark mode. Um, I guess it's, is there anything we want to look at before? Onto Apple's website. This is mid 2012. So it's a uh, no can do. But I don't want to really want to hang around. See, so, yeah, I'll just. Just the UI changes and Siri. Okay. So. Are rebooting from Sierra. Uh, should do a Mac chime or something. Show the Apple logo. Okay, what's okay, what's gone blank? This is this looks like the Sierra boot screen. Or whatever it is. Okay, now it's gone back to zero. Is this. Catalina installing? Or maybe converting to APFS. That's probably what it's probably doing because, you know, like installing Windows 2000 or NT4, it'll preform it to like FAT32, and then it'll do a boot cycle and it'll convert to NTFS and then do another power cycle. At least that's from what I remember. So I guess that's what's kind of it, kind of, it's kind of doing. Okay, it's about 47 minutes remaining. So here we are. It's a uh, Mac OS Catalina. So yeah. This is a mid-2012 MacBook Pro running the latest software that I can run. And the reason I've been doing it in the dark is because it has like a reflective screen, so yeah. Anyways, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Bye.